Bob here, Chopper Bob Customs. Thanks for tuning in today. Work continues on Uncle Dirtbag 61 C10. Thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. To those of you that have subscribed, thanks a lot. Like the videos, comment. I try to get back on the comments if they if they need an answer as soon as I possibly can. And uh, since it is getting colder, uh, this will probably be a little bit more irregular on the posting, so hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming up. Let's get started on this. This is the bottom of the kick panel, the replacement panel for rusted out areas in the kick panel. And if you look at it, what it's got is it's got this ledge right here that sits on top of the floor. And that's what I got out of order on the other side. I had the cab mount put in, I had this put in, and when you have it that way, it's almost impossible to get the floor put into it. And so what I had to do to get the floor into it was actually cut the floor into two pieces, which is primary reason why I didn't uh, show that part of the video. Now, <clears throat> so I've got the floor in, it's attached solidly to the tow board and to the um, cab support. <coughs> the four bolts are holding it to the A-pillar. There's only two of those bolts, the top two, that go through the uh, kick panel bottom, these two right here. This third hole right here goes through it, through the floor, and it is what attaches the um, fender uh, mount, the lower fender bolt mount. The lower fender bolt goes here, um, and then this hole and this hole go through the cab mount, the floor. This bolt hole right here goes through the um, uh, kick panel, and then these go through the uh, A-pillar bottom, and then this hole right here goes through the floor and the um, kick panel. And that's what holds the, uh, the bottom of the fender in right here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to <coughs> loosen up the um, the four bolts that sandwich this corner together. And when I say loosen it up, I'm going to loosen up all four of them, but the top two I'm going to take out to allow room for this to slide in there. I'm leaving the bottom two in <coughs> so that it holds the parts in alignment. Okay, now the other thing I learned on the other side is, is that you can cut away too much. <coughs> so what I'm trying to do here, I need to get this flange on this part to drop in so that this will slide forward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mark it. <coughs> I'm going to cut below the mark. Um, or no, actually I'm going to cut right on the mark, which should allow that flange to go in there. So let's, uh, let's cut it and see what I need. See, I am 
going to cut just a little below the mark. With the item in the place, trimmed up, sort of, <laughs> I need to make determinations on where to make the rest of the cuts. Uh, I've got all four bolts in. They're not tight yet. I'm going to go ahead and clamp this down and then tighten the bolts up. And then I'll know for sure where to put my mark. Um, let's see if I can get this old rotten rubber out of here.
I find fitting a triangle into the hole one of the most difficult things, at least for me it is. Um, but what I've got is I've got this clamp down here holding the the flare of this rocker or I'm sorry not rocker a kick panel tied against the floor where the um, uh, rocker panel will fit on it so it's tied against the floor I've got this corner right here flush and then I've got it fitting good and snug up here along the f along the tow board and the floor so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and put some tacks in. Um, that's probably all I'm going to get done today because uh, I am just about out of gas and I'm just about out of time. So if I can get this thing tacked in place. Oh, I do have the four bolts tight down at the bottom. So basically, uh, and just about all of them, um, go in either just really easily or without too much um, coaxing. So um, I've got my uh, weld through primer on everything that needs to have it. And so I'm going to start by putting a tack right here in the corner. Let me get this situated. Well, I guess I better hook the ground strap up. Time to finish welding this in. The first thing I'm going to do is put all the rosettes in. There's not that many. The thing about putting the rosettes in first at this point is to help control movement and shrinkage if I can. Um, this is also a place where you need to be thinking ahead. Uh, this is a problem I ran into on the other side was I didn't think ahead like I should have. Um, on the other side, it was obvious that it was far easier to put the uh, kick panel in first. Uh, the problem is if you put the kick panel in first, while it's easier to put in, it makes the floor almost impossible to put in afterwards. So by putting the floor in first and then fitting the kick panel in, at least I was able to assemble it without cutting stuff up. Um, and of course it was a bit of a challenge to get this in and out several times to get it fit. The fit up's not perfect but it's pretty good. Um, obviously if, if I didn't have to do it in that order it would be easier but right now it's solidly in place. Uh, everything lines up really well. So on this where you have to think ahead is the fact that I'm going to be cutting the A pillar off about right here. And there are spot welds that attach the A-pillar to both the, um, well, no, I take that back. The spot welds attach the A-pillar to the kick panel. Well, you don't want to put those spot welds in below where you're going to cut because you're just going to have to drill them back out. So you got to be thinking about that while you're doing this. So basically from about here up, I'm going to be putting uh, four rosettes in here. Um, or three. 
uh, two of which I've already put in. And then back in here, uh, from the outside, there will be three spot rosettes that go in on this line right here. And you'll be able to see them glow red. And then I've got, I think, four more to put in uh, attaching the footboard and the floor panel to the underneath side of, of the um, uh, kick panel there. So let me get started with that. Be doing some welding and uh, uh, then wrapping this video up, I think. Okay, with that, the kick panel is in the truck, ready to go. So, um, uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, please subscribe, please comment, please like. Uh, hit that notification bell so you'll know when the next videos are coming up. Uh, obviously, the next step on this will be to replace that lower A pillar. Um, but for now, thanks for watching, and Chopper Bob out.